Good evening or good day. Kai Mazaku from the Kai Clan here today to give you guys a burrito. I don't know what episode this is. I was I was just legit went through a whole like seven episode marathon because I was about seven weeks behind. Cause to be quite frank, I got sick and tired of what was going on. And let's make sure this thing is uh freshly on. Let's turn the gain down a little bit. I love this new microphone, y'all. Like I love it to death. Like this is like my baby. But before we get into the review, make sure if you guys have any mental health issues, like depression, suicidal thoughts, panic attacks, anxiety, or you know somebody else of sort, as I said, me, head for the Kai Clan, we are an organization, not just a music group. We talking about, you know, I, you guys watched my, la my latest video, I gave sort of like a little speech on trying to, you know, uplift and encourage um, people who do have those that come out and you know, admit that they do have you know, mental illnesses and steps that we can take to move forward and I will be giving more videos on that. Until then, I did drop, you know, we, Kai Clan, me, Kai Mazaku and Kai Exile did release the Kai EP, the uh, Book of Kai Chapter 1. I believe if anybody has any of these problems such as, you know, with mental health, this will definitely help you. And if you just like to turn up, listen to some, you know, some turn up type shit, we got that on there as well. It's only five tracks, but I feel like the whole thing is like a big healing ceremony. Um, and it's just our first one. Uh, there'll be many more to come. You know, we're going to do them year by year. We're going to do local tours, not just, you know, musical tours. I do want to help people and start doing a lot more public speaking. You know, so let's get this show on the road. You know, it starts here. It starts here with the music. This is the base point. Everything else is going to follow through. And I promise you guys, when we do get on, and I promise you we will, it's not going to be like everybody, everybody else. Everybody that helped us every step of the way, I'm telling you, we're helping everybody. And that's just a fact. So now that we got that out the way, first off, welcome to Kamazaku Season 12. And first episode, no, no other than Boruto. I took a long break from this because it, it, <laughs> the anime is so, it's so bad. Um, but I will admit that I have been thoroughly entertained the last seven episodes. Now, I'm over here looking from outside looking in, you know, I see posts here and there, I'm like, yo, these two niggas, like, <laughs> really holding, like, beating the shit out of Yurashiki, that's what I'm thinking is happening, I'm thinking they're winning, but it's le been legit seven episodes of these niggas running, like, they running, and then they're all they're sealing up real quick, oh, we got him, running again, and recently I made a tier list, and I put Yurashiki with Momoshiki, uh, take that back, this, uh, Here's the thing about Yurashiki. This nigga is like top tier retarded. All that power. And you wanna fuck around. I'm not understanding that. If that nigga really wanted the one tells, he could easily teleport to Burrito and Shinky. Just activate his Biakuyan. Oh, cool, they're there. Easily suck the shit out of him. And stopped playing with him, took the kettle, and did. This nigga wanna chase low ass boys for seven episodes, seeing what they gonna do. Pause. Nah, that, that, that nigga Yoshiki's fucking stupid to me. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. Hopefully they exploit that character flaw. If not, if he just dies randomly, I'm like, okay, that was just bad writing. But if that's supposed to be his flaw that's building up, then you no, know, so be it. But this dude's like top tier maturity. No way you can convince me that this nigga wants to achieve his goals. Y'all here playing with kids. So, but this episode though that just passed, this episode was actually kind of cute and kind of refreshing. Here's the thing. You guys, you know, get the notion that I hate all episodes where they're just relaxing. No, I don't mind them at all. One, it just can't just be bullshit. It's just it. I don't want to see no episode of, ooh, Salvador, what kind of ice cream flavor is your flavor? I mean, what kind of ice cream flavor is your favorite? And they over there trying to find out for 22 minutes, you know, what's her favorite. Because that's the kind of shit, you know, Birdto delivers. So... With this episode, they kept some canon into it. Kind of lay right off of this scene here. Uh, you know, Kasasuke saved the day. Um, and uh, he didn't necessarily beat Yoshiki, but you know, he pushed him to the edge, which is stupid. I feel like this nigga Yoshiki just all talk. Like, what the fuck? All this power, this nigga Sasuke saw for two seconds and you dip it. 
I don't know. That nigga, he's just, he's pissing me off. Something like disappointing. Uh, the Yurashiki personally, he's pissing me off. That can't be all his power, but it's like, yo, you you keep playing. Stop playing. Everything ain't funny. So this episode, you got Shukaku um in the little teapot and shit, cause you know they had to put him in there. And uh, him and uh, Himawari, I guess, are developing like a friendship, you know, throughout the episodes. He's trying to adjust being around humans. Mind you, he's been free for several years. I don't think he hates humans anymore, but I think in his head, he kind of just like accepted the fact that, you know, basically, you tell beasts and humans don't go together. Which, you know, a thousand years of bad history versus 15 or 10 years of, you know, solid ones. I guess he was, his head was still lean towards, you know, more of that into the stick of what humans are capable of. And that's why he doesn't try to befriend them. He doesn't try to understand them. You know, it makes sense. You know, it, it, you know, what, what are you going to do? So you got him and the uh, Kurama kind of bickering back and forth. Now, Naruto, first off, one thing I did very, very, very much appreciate is that they uh, showcased Naruto's ability to still uh, call the summits for the Tail Beast. And I also got a little rant that I got uh, released right now. So here's the thing. Everybody know that Asuski are back. They're alive, or at least some of them are alive, and they're doing some wicked shit, at least in the anime series. Naruto informs every fucking tail beast individually what they're dealing with, and only six sold to the fucking meeting? They showed the fucking seven tails just flying, the five tails. Just running in the fucking two cells, just looking at grass. So it's not like they was doing shit that was like super important. I hope them motherfuckers get fucking captured. Fuck them. Ignoring bitches, you trying to save y'all fucking lives. Y'all, y'all wanna do animal type shit. What the fuck? I hope your shit keep. Ooh. I fucking hope he catches y'all. I want him to beat the dog shit out y'all and then catch y'all for your chakra. Y'all think it's a fucking game. It's not a fucking game. Niggas been after y'all shit for over a thousand years and they, they damn well got it. What, 10 years ago with the full great Shinobi war, you get um, intel. Oh yeah, it's another one of these niggas trying to do the same shit. Oh no, we good. I'm going to the grid. It's like, okay, whatever. Hope the niggas get captured. But any uh, other than that, this entire episode was really good. The fact that um, Himurari broke out the Byakugan again it is a little weird how she doesn't remember when she goes into it, but no, I guess it makes it a little bit crazy. I guess it adds to her, you know, her power or whatever. Maybe it's like a Gohan type of thing. So I don't really find any flaws in it yet. Um, I like Naruto's meeting that he had with the Telbees um, and Shikaku's interactions and getting to know him you know, a lot better as a character, you know. Mind you, we only got you know, a few spats here and there. You know, he's a funky demon. He's a little playful person but now it's like you know this is just his personality i'm happy they kept it consistent to that rate and you know i fuck with Sukaku. you know I mean? i'm a fan i'm a fan so if that was this episode's purpose it definitely you know fulfilled that um burrito he was pretty solid he didn't really piss me off too much this episode i did like the fact that he jumped to um him already safety when she fell i just see uh the biyaku gun kind of left her uh sight after finding out where Sukaku was in the tea kettle pot when the trash people came to pick him up so I like seeing Berto, you know, be a nice, protective big brother and, you know, fulfilling his job, you know, correctly. So everything else in this episode was really good to me. That shit with the Tell Beast pissed me the fuck off, but everything else is really good. So it gets a, um, a solid 8 out of 10 from uh, Kamazaku. Y'all know, it's rare to get a, yo, get Berto with you. What? Oh my God. Oh, I suck his dick. Nah. It was a solid episode with you. Um, I said with you. Well, it was. <laughs> Cause you know how I do that shit. But it was a solid episode. Um, the next episode looks like some bullshit. Um, seen the preview. I don't even remember what the fuck it was. I'm pretty sure Sabrina was in there. I don't like that bitch. I know I don't fuck with her. Just like I don't fuck with her mother. So, hey. Fuck you gonna do? Y'all ain't gonna do shit about it. So, next episode looks like it's gonna be um, a pile of horse shit. So, I'm gonna go watch it regardless. Because, you know, I'm not done, you know, really judging episodes so much on the preview. I still get a little preview discussions over here and there. Uh, if you guys want it, let me know. And, you know, just let me know if you guys want a preview discussion for the next episode. And I'll definitely drop a video. Um, I'm going to start going to start Demon Slayer. Going to finish One Piece. Got to catch up with Black Clover. 
uh, definitely be under my hero seven daily sins so stay tuned and also please click the link in the description or the link in the top comment to listen to uh the book of kai chapter one ep i really feel like when you do have any troubles with mental health excessive depression suicidal thoughts anxiety panic attacks etc etc i really feel like this uh body work will help you uh the entire thing is about the course of 20 to 23 minutes your average anime episode out of the 24 hours of your day and also please support me as an artist as a, a public speaker as a figure and you know just as a person because i still do go through these things and this is what i use for my outlet so if you guys can even get encouraged to start making your own kind of craft doesn't even have to be music from this then you know i feel like my job is fulfilled you know i did what i was supposed to do just trying to help here because you know a lot of times hurt people hurt people people need help help people and this is what's making me happier as a person is helping people like you guys. I love you guys. Have a good day.